Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So with version 6 just out, we also got a brand new demo song in Studio One that sounds amazing, really has something for everybody, but it's also a fantastic way to explore all of the new features and functionalities at your own pace. I'm going to show you today how you can install it, how to set everything up, and then five of my favorite things about it. So we're here on Studio One 6's brand new start page. You'll notice if you're coming from Studio One 5, there's no more new project, show and song buttons and stuff like that. It can all be done from a single consolidated button labeled new. And if you click on that and scroll all the way down, you're going to find demos. Click on that and then click on install. That's all you need to do to install the brand new Studio One 6 demo song by Alina Smith and Max Kanye. It's called Rhythm of the Night. It has nothing to do with the original. This is the rhythm of the night. It's not that one. And it goes through several features and several genres of music in a three minute, four minute arrangement. Brilliant to explore all of the new features at your own pace. So just go ahead and click install with me to get everything set up. This takes you straight to the Studio One installation manager. Now what's great about that is that the previous Studio One extensions and Studio One add-on installation menus have all been consolidated in this one single window now. So this is where you can update all your content. This is where you can see what you have installed, what you're currently missing, some recommendations, even comes with a search function. And after we clicked install on the demo, it takes us straight to the demo installer. So just go ahead and click install one item. This is only going to take a short moment here. And when it's installed, we can simply click on new again and select the demo song right here. Now, when we click OK, it's going to open up. And before I say anything further about the demo song, let's just take a listen together and appreciate how good it sounds. And also that everything has been done exclusively with Studio One instruments and effects. Let's go. There's something in the air. All the stars are twinkling in tempo. The moon is asked to share. I'm going to go ahead and use the track visibility page to only show events that are currently under the player cursor position. So once we hit the chorus, I can use this to show all of the tracks that are currently playing while hiding the ones that don't. So the brand new track icons here. So that gives you a good idea. Let's go to the rap bridge. That 808 is coming from Presence, Studio One sample player. Just saying. So you can tell that it really covers a lot of ground. It goes through pop, it goes through rap, it has like an amazing vocoder section as well. And I want to run you through just a couple of my favorite things. As you've just seen, I used the macro page with show tracks with events under player at cursor position to only show the tracks that are currently playing because it's a massive arrangement. If I'm showing all of these at the same time, you can see there's a ton of tracks here. And if you don't have such a power efficient computer, then you might actually see a little bit of CPU usage. Now, in my case, you don't see that. And why is this? Because I have Plugin Nap enabled. Plugin Nap is a feature that we introduced in version 5.2, I believe. And that's also one of my favorite things about the Studio One demo song. It will pause all plugins that don't currently have an input signal on the channel that they're applied on. And after a couple of seconds, those plugins will just nap essentially be paused so that they save CPU. And if you check out how big that difference actually is, I'm just going to disable this again, I'm using suddenly 20% more CPU, at least on this particular thread that's being monitored. 
quite impressive. So enable plugin nap by all means. If you have a certain plugin that doesn't behave nicely with it, you can always go to the plugin manager and then selectively disable plugin nap just for that one. So you don't need to stop using plugin nap altogether just because one of your favorite plugins doesn't work well with it. Okay, so that would be my first favorite thing. My next favorite thing about it is that when I open up the mixer, it's really optimized to use the brand new fader flip function. So fader flip has been introduced in Studio One 6 and it allows us to only show the channels that are currently sending to the selected effects channel. This is amazing because it allows you to mix just the effect levels without having to look for the channels first, which can be a challenge, especially in a large project project. So for example, if I go all the way to the right here and I am investigating the R&B room, for instance, I click here on this LED strip and it tells me that there's five channels currently sending into this reverb. So what if I just want to adjust the send levels of these channels now to mix the balance of reverb really quickly? Well, that's not that easy to do, but with Fader Flip, it's child's play. To activate Fader Flip, all we need to do is click here on this button. We can also assign it to a hotkey, activate Fader Flip. This is what I've done because honestly, it's going to be the most used keyboard shortcut on my entire keyboard for the mixer console at least. And before I start using it, I also want to click on this arrow here and make sure that hide unassigned faders is active. This is going to make this feature most effective. So now I select the RMB room, for instance, and hit my hotkey, or I can also click here to activate fader flip. Now I only see these five channels that I mentioned that are currently sending into this room. And if I now solo them, for instance, it allows me to only adjust the reverb levels. Once I'm done, I can click on Fader Flip again or use my keyboard shortcut to see the entire mixer console again. And for me, this is one of these features that don't look too flashy on a change lock, you know, on a new features chart. But once you start using it, it makes all the difference. Okay, my next favorite feature to explore in the brand new Studio One demo song in version 6 is the lyrics track. Now, the lyrics track is a brand new global track that has been added in Studio One 6. We can open that up by clicking on this L here. If you don't see that, then your track width may not be wide enough. In that case, simply select it from this drop down menu. And when you open it up, you can quite simply edit all of the lyrics of your song by clicking on this pencil. In this case, it's not necessary. And this is also available on show page. But the reason I love this on the song page as well, and I've tested this with a vocalist during recording, is that you can make your life as the music producer and the life of the vocalist that much easier. The vocalist won't know at which bar or which section to start. They will just know their lyrics and they want to say to you, can we please start at this particular line and hope that you will know what they're talking about. Now with the lyrics track, what you could do is just select that particular line and it jumps to that part in the arrangement, just like you know it from Apple Music, Spotify and so forth. So let's try that out. Let's go to all the stars. All the stars are twinkling in tempo. Now let's select the energies on beat. Or if they want to start in the rap part, stop for a minute, let me catch my breath. We just select it. And the arrangement follows. So now you're kind of on the same page with the vocalist. They tell you where they want to go in. Like they say, let me start at that line. And you don't need to look up at what part in the arrangement that is because the lyrics track is helping you. This is truly industry leading lyrics support. Okay, so my next favorite feature has to do with the vocoder. You might know that in Studio One 6, we got a brand new vocoder plugin added that is so creative, but sometimes it can be a little bit daunting to get started with it. It's located right here at around bar 18. And if we just listen to the vocals without the vocoder, they sound like this. On the right frequency. With the vocoder, they sound like this. And it's just fantastic that we have like an example to work with. We can also get this out of the arrangement 
for example, with the song data import feature, or we can also select both of these tracks by holding down shift and then right click and use the brand new store track preset function. Store track preset allows you to save this configuration. If we just go to a new song now and open up the effects browser right here, then we'll see the vocoder box that we just saved, drag that in, and now we have that exact configuration from the demo song, but now we can input our own vocals and our own melody to start using the vocoder right away. So this is great if you've maybe never used the vocoder before or you're not feeling too confident doing the routing by yourself. You already have the routing set up. You just need to input the vocals, input a melody and have fun using it. The fifth and final favorite thing, wow, that's quite a mouthful, that I wanted to mention about the Studio One demo song is that there's track notes that guide you through the entire song and give you hints what to check out in Studio One 6. So if we click here on this wrench icon and then click show track notes, we'll see that there's a couple of, you know, notes that have been added that kind of explain what the channels do, what you could try out, how you could record. And to me, this is just a great starting point if you're kind of feeling lost and don't know what to check out first. With that said, I hope that you enjoy the new Studio One 6 demo song. I think they've done an incredible job and thank you for watching.